Novak Djokovic reaches quarterfinals at Australian Open. Djokovic ties Roger Federer's mark of 58 trips to the quarterfinals in majors with a 6-0, 6-0, 6-3 win. Melbourne, Australia. Achieving yet another record at the Australian Open put Novak Djokovic in a reflective mood, revealing how he thought things might change after he'd clinched his historic 24th major title. Djokovic played his best two sets, in a while, in a 6-0, 6-0, 6-3 demolition of Adrian Manorino on Sunday to reach the quarterfinals at a major for the 58th time, equaling Roger Federer's Grand Slam record. It's his 14th run to the last eight at Melbourne Park, where his conversion rate is incredible. Of the previous 13, he's gone on to win 10 Australian titles. I thought maybe I would this year feel slightly more relaxed, for lack of better term, or maybe less tension, less stress on practice sessions, matches, he said. But it's not. It is as it always was, very high intensity. Djokovic, 36, is meticulous in his planning and preparation and has had unprecedented success at the Grand Slam events in the Open era. Even with two more major titles than any man in history, he said he can't relax and just enjoy it. You can see it even today. I was six love, two love up. It was a long game, and I was like going on with discussions, heated discussions, with my box, he said. The fire is still burning. I'm not playing anymore because I need more money or I need more points or whatever. I just want to play. I really enjoy the competition. In the quarterfinals, he'll be facing number 12 ranked Taylor Fritz, who reached the last eight in Australia for the first time with a 7-6, 3-5-7, 6-3, 6-3 win over 2023 runner-up Stefano Tsitsipas. Djokovic was in his post-match news conference when Fritz and Tsitsipas were still on court. He was asked about both potential rivals, and said he was confident if he played to his level. No surprise to Fritz, who is 0-8 against Djokovic. I mean, if I beat someone eight times in a row, I'd be pretty confident playing them. Two, I can't really fault him for that, Fritz said, before adding that he was improving and was coming off his first win over a top-10 player at a slam. I think that I have a lot more level to bring than I've previously brought against him. Hopefully I can play another match like today. For Djokovic, it was a rare day session. He said it's no secret he prefers 7pm matches, but if the scoreline was any reflection of how he played in the daylight, he was content. He dropped sets in his first two rounds and struggled with a virus but said his last two wins show. It's going in a positive direction, health-wise, tennis-wise. Number 4 Janik Sinner hasn't dropped a set en route to the quarterfinals, with the Italian beating number 15 Karen Kachanov on Sunday. Nor have women's defending champion Irina Sabalenka and US Open winner Coco Gauff. Sinner will play a quarterfinal against Andrei Rublev after the number 5 seed rallied to beat number 10 Alex de Menor 6-4, 6-7, 5, 6-7, 4, 6-3, 6-0. Asked what was going through his head when he was down a set at 2-1 against an Aussie in the home of Australian tennis, Rublev said, You don't want to be inside my head. It's like a scary movie. Sabalenka will next play 2021 French Open champion Barbara Krasikova, who dropped the first set but rallied for a 4-6, 6-3, 6-2 win that ended 16-year-old Mira Andriva's bid to become the youngest Australian Open quarterfinalist since Martina Hingis in 1997. Number 2 ranked Sabalenka, who won her first slam title here last year, beat Amanada Anisimova, 6-3, 6-2. Gauff, who picked up her first major at the US Open in September, beat Magdalena Freck, 6-1, 6-2. Anisimova had won four of their previous five meetings, but she didn't have the answers this time. I'm super happy with the level, happy to get this win. She's a tough opponent, Sabalenka said of overcoming that obstacle. As for the next? I'm super happy with the level, happy to get this win. She's a tough opponent. Gauff, who next faces Marta Kostchuk of Ukraine, was the first woman through, 
needing just 63 minutes to see off Freck in a match played on Rod Laver Arena, in front of the Australian great. Luckily when I saw him come in I was already well up, Gauff said. Luckily when I saw him come in I was already well up. Thanks for watching NY Sports News. Stay tuned for more updates.